In today's world, data is the new gold. Insert rows and tables, a card game to introduce kids and adults to real data science. Who learns from books and tutorials anymore? Learn the best way, through play. In rows and tables, there are four types of cards, also referred to as transactions. These transaction cards are ways to manipulate data. First, we have insert. When played, this adds data for everyone to see and use. On the front side of the insert card is the data that card holds. The purple bar has the table name, the orange boxes are different columns of information, and the yellow boxes are the values for each of those columns. The player with the most data when no transactions are left wins the game. Next up we have Delete. When played, this card permanently removes the affected data from play. The highlighted information are fill in the blanks, which are chosen by the player. The orange boxes here lets you know what kind of information you need to pick. When announced, this forms your complete query. A query is what computers understand to manipulate data. In this card game format, no computers are needed. The bottom of the card explains the transaction's effect. In this example, the player could announce Delete from animals where category is land and owner is John, if John were another player. Like the real world, there are companies looking to buy data. Select cards let you query for the data you want to sell. But beware, the sale counts towards the current owner of the card. For this game, once the data is sold, it becomes worthless to the other players, so they're ignored for future transactions. In this example, the player could announce Select from animals where entry is bare. Once selected, data cards are placed face down and away from the play area for safekeeping. Finally, we have update cards, which are used to change data. For our purposes, this just means changing the owner of the data, which allows you to take other players' data cards. In this example, the player could announce, Update animals, set owner to me which results in taking everyone else's animals data cards. For a standard game, begin by shuffling the deck and giving each player three cards face down, hidden in their hand. Players take turns clockwise. In this example, player bottom goes first and starts the turn by drawing a card and ends the turn by playing the insert card shown here for everyone to see and use. On your turn, first draw one card from the active deck, if there are cards left to draw. You must then play one of the cards in your hand, even if it has no effect, while announcing any chosen information highlighted in various colors on the card. With the chosen information, perform the actions directed at the bottom of the card played. Note that data cards hidden in the player's hands are not affected because they are not inserted yet. Some more inserts are played at different turns. Player top plays a select card to sell some data. Note that select cards do not change ownership. The sold data pile is signified by turning the data cards face down and placed away from the play area. Since that data has been sold, it no longer becomes valuable for the other players and is ignored for the rest of the game. The game continues as players take turns until no transaction cards are left in any player's hands. The player with the greatest number of data cards, either sold or owned by the player, wins the game. Learn the best way through play and order today.